Welcome back here to Radio Free Radford. I'm the station manager, Dustin Staples, here with you tonight. We're doing a little thing a little bit different here. We're doing a nighttime interview. I've got three individuals here or have their own little podcast. It's called Beat the Bell. They talk about an array of everything, some sports, some real life skills, some things that they've been personally been going on as well. You can check them out on YouTube, Twitter, and on Instagram at Beat the Bell. And I'm thrilled to have one as a familiar face of mine. That's Michael Mayer, Meyer with the Radio for Radford staff. And we've got two gentlemen here. We'll, we'll go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm Kyle. Um, one third of Beat the Bell. I've known these guys for a while, so it's a fun show. Yep. Heck yeah, um, yeah, I'm Sam, uh, Sam Lawson. Uh, I'm actually part of WVT 90.7 at Virginia Tech. So have a little bit of radio experience too, but uh, happy to be on. All righty, awesome. So we'll get here with our questions uh, with uh, Kyle. And like I said, we'll go with Kyle, Michael, Sam is the way listed on my order here. So let's talk about the way this podcast came up, or unless y'all all three want to talk about it. What is the, well, I said the name of the podcast and how this all come up. Uh, who wants to start it? Wants yeah, to I'll, it. I'll take, I'll take it. So, yeah. uh, Sam was actually, he came on my show and, um, after he came on my show, he said he wanted to start his own podcast. So I was going to be his first guest and it was right after a big UFC pay-per-view that had happened back in, um, back in early June, I think. And him and I were going to recap the show. And I, uh, I texted him right before we started and I said, Hey, I watched the fights with Kyle last night. Do you like, can he come on too? And maybe like shed his insight. Cause he's, he's pretty knowledgeable with fighting. And Sam was like, yeah, sure. Of course. So we recorded probably for 30 minutes all three of us and it just it all clicked like we we looked at each other and we said we got to make this a weekly thing because it just seemed so natural that we were all recording together so yeah. that's basically how it started it was kind of like spontaneous said, yeah, yeah I, I just i just got a text and it was like uh we're doing the zoom meeting like for my show it's the first episode like pop in popped in and yeah it just went smooth like a yeah. well-oiled machine <laughs> yeah and choosing the name was uh I mean, it took us probably three days and we were firing off names in the group chat that all three of us have together. And um, it, I mean, we had, yeah, I mean, beat the bell. It, when that was said, I mean, that was pretty um, obvious that that was the best choice that we had had so far. And we wanted to get rolling and making the social medias as soon as possible. So we went with beat the bell. And I mean, it's, it's, it's received good, um, good reviews, I guess you could say so far from our friends. They all like it. And BTB kind of flows well off the tongue. It's a good so. concept too as well. With yeah, exactly. With the different rounds fight. And topics and stuff. Yep. Yeah, exactly. All right. Awesome with that. And of course, the, we're asking you, of course, you said there's a couple of topics. What are some topics that you all typically talk about? And is this something that you just instantly come up with or do you kind of plan before you get on the show? Uh, well, every show, yeah, we kind of plan uh, accordingly. But some main topics is just like we'll kind of recap what's going on in our lives, you know, how our weekends were and then usually we'll jump into some UFC or sports talk and then uh, we'll finish it up with usually a fan submission, or like however many we have that week. Um, we mix a little bit extra stuff in there at some points, but that's pretty much the core of it. So uh, you talked about uh, mentioning fan submissions there. Um, how are ways people can do so and how has that been so far? You want to see that one, Sam? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so we don't have much of an outreach yet, but we kind of just ask our friends, like, you know, send in something or we post something on our uh, Instagram account saying, you know, uh, send us in some questions. And uh, to be honest, like, my favorite thing is seeing somebody's face or hearing their voice. I don't really like the text messages uh, just because it makes it a little more personal. So it's been fun. I mean, that's probably my favorite part of the episodes for sure. And we've been blessed <laughs> with some good questions so far. I mean, we've, done, we've done four or five episodes, but we've had some good questions. So it makes it enjoyable for us. Yeah, it's interesting for sure. Yeah, see what's going on in other people's, yeah, exactly. see, what, see what's going on in other people's heads. Yeah. Right. Cool there. And people can uh, do that. They, you said they can submit them through on the, uh, what social media pages was that? Okay. So you can submit them. We usually post a story the day we record like hours before we record on Instagram and it's just a swipe up simply just swipe up and let us know. But uh, like Sam said, he prefers, or we all prefer the video questions. So we usually have to reach out to our friends through iMessage and that's just usually how we get the majority of those questions. Okay. Yep. So uh, you talked about your show ideas. Are there any new ideas that you're thinking about already planning on for the next episode? Or would you like to give a little tease on what you're going to be talking about next? 
Um, I mean, that's funny you said too. Uh, <laughs> we have no idea. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we truthfully, we don't know. I mean, we're kind of just going with the flow because, like we said, we didn't plan that we were going to do this show together until that first Zoom call. But uh, I mean, we have thought about having guests on eventually, like bringing someone on. Yeah, but, yeah. Actually, we do have some plans. I guess. Yeah, towards the end of the episode, maybe bringing on a guest or two and just having them maybe ask the fan question live or uh, like uh, shed their two cents on a UFC fight that happened recently or something. But um, yeah, no, not 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 any big plans that we can really touch up on just yet. All right, sure. Some will come to you right there as well. And I guess the the way that the relationship you have here, I've been watching some of your videos, and you know, they seem like y'all are all like this uh, brotherly family. It seems like y'all have this connection. Yeah. It's like if you were to, I guess, the three of you all, who has the most energetic energy? Because it seems like all of you all have that pump. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I would say uh, uh, say probably Mar. Ma- probably yeah. Michael. Yeah, Mar. Michael's yeah. the most energetic out of all of us. But it's a uh, it gets fun while we're recording. Like all of yeah. us kind of get it's into. It's almost it. like yeah. It's almost just like a nice little nice little end of the week. Almost like therapy or something. It's kind of really? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a it's, therapy it's, session. There's no pressure. It's not like we're doing anything like crazy or a show or anything like that. It's just talking. Yeah. And like you said, you, you think it seems like family or you, you think it uh, seems like, yeah, family like because um, I mean, I've known Sam since we went to kindergarten together where we went to the same elementary school. We so I've, I've known Sam since we were six years old. And then Kyle was my neighbor. He moved into the house next to me uh, in sixth grade. So, I mean, we've all known each other for a really long time. So that's probably why it rubs off as us being pretty natural together. That's a good thing. I think that's also you know, why it helped a lot. It helped yeah. a lot in, uh, in the show. There you go. Awesome to see that. So um, people are interested. Maybe they're listening to this right now. Um, how are ways people can tune into you? Uh, what times? Is there a specific time or you just kind of shoot it up when the video is uploaded? And uh, how can they do so? Listen to those. Yeah, so I'll, I'll take this one. Um, I like am in charge of video editing, but, you know, I have a lot of stuff on my plate. I work. I work a full time job. So it's just been like kind of hard juggling stuff. I aim for one. Yeah, I'm for I aim for when <laughs> I aim for Wednesday typically, but you know the video editing today, uh, my my laptop died and I, everything got chalked. So yeah, I don't know up in there. I aim for Wednesday though. Record on Sunday. Aim for Wednesday. Yep. Yeah. So and people. And then know. as for like how people can tune in, we we are on uh, Spotify, Apple Podcast. Um, what else? We're on YouTube Apple Podcast like video. Um, yeah anything really and final question anybody can answer this what has been the support since you all started this of course like you said you've got just a few amount of followers but what has been the support from family friends just around everywhere else oh I mean, it's been great i think yeah yeah the support yeah you know, my family and all of our friends at least have been tuning in listening sending in questions so i really appreciate that and uh i just like to put out good shows for them yeah, we're blessed because uh, the people that because we all went to the same high school. We didn't state that, but we all went to the same high school. And um, I mean, we just have a really great group of friends around us. And we all have I mean, like I said, we're fortunate enough to have like a multitude of friends and they're all super supportive with us. I mean, when we started the podcast, it didn't take long for it to pick up an initial traction. And um, it's, been, it's, just, it's been growing steadily, but surely. Gotcha, gotcha. Sounds like you, you've got the mindset of doing something and you're, like I said, so energetic. You're passionate about doing something that you really want to do. And just from watching those last couple episodes and listening to them, you can say, you know what, I think I could fit into what you're saying or something, whatever may pop out to people that are just saying that those, the message. Yeah, I mean, say, yeah. I mean, obviously we want to grow, but like right now I'm just focused on having fun. And I think that's, you know, what it's all about. I could, obviously I'd like a following, but it's not what I'm doing it for. It's yeah. Good time. Yeah. Great time. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you guys speaking with us here uh, tonight and we'll be sure to plug all your social media um, outlets out there as well. And uh, stay tuned folks for more uh, beat the bell content. Like I said, they are on I, uh, Apple podcast, YouTube, Spotify, and we'll be sure to tag it on here. So we thank you for tuning on in. And uh, like you said, it's awesome group of individuals talking with us tonight. We'll have-